So this is the Cherus OS 4.7.5 which has been released for Redmi Note 10 out there for quite a few time and it's based on official version and thanks Ms. Bissell Das for maintaining this amazing custom ROM. So now let's dig into the video and check out how it does performs and should I recommend for today, today usage or not. So let's get started with the video. So first of all I would like to start it with the smoothness of this ROM and Talking about that, the opening, closing animation of this customer is quite seems to be fine. Even though I just scrolling through the QS panel and there isn't any lag stutter that you can find. Even I scroll in anything like you can see that there isn't any lag over there. Even changing the application does not also seems to be lagging anywhere else. Else. So now talking about that, this ROM does provide a good amount of customizations that you want to get hands on it. So first of all, let's dig into the challenge settings and know which kind of uh, settings, customizations that it offers. So this is the status bar option. You get the network traffic indicator. You can enable over there. You can also see that the network traffic indicator has been working out there without any quite being issues. Clock style is there. Clock and data. Date style is there and you can customize all according to your usage roaming indicator micro mic and camera privacy indicator is been there notification count that is not been working currently right now because i have not any such any what do you see notifications this is the colored icons animation that is working i have double cross checked that this is the themes options and there is a stut 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 and there is subtle lag while opening that you can see that you can select the settings layout like eosp or OnePlus style and as you can see that I just changed that settings user card you can see that you can also change that also and if I go back you can see that it fully gets changed over there now this is the dark theme option the monitor theme option you can what do you say customize according to your usage and you can also change the background color itself also now talking about that lock screen clock font is been there and if I just change that and locks the screen, you can see that it works. It looks although good, but it totally depends on the users. QS panel styles, you can see that double tone and you can see that it gets changed. So that is quite a being new to see. And as I just like these settings also, like these reflected ones. So it seems to be good a customization part. Now talking about the animation, there is nothing such more things. In the power menu, all the things were options available. You can see that many options is available from here. In the notification option, you get the edge lighting, show always on display and lights up. And in this miscellaneous option, you get the unlock higher FPS in games and photo storage. I will talk about the photo storage in the detail part of the video. Now talking about the first of all, I have run some benchmarks and I would like to share those benchmarks results with you all and this is some of the results we slingshot test in this test you can see that physical test scores is 53.70 fps with the overall score of 2333 that is quite a good scores and this is the wildlife score and the average frame rate is okay not so good but it has been okay to score not talking about that i have took some of the benchmark screenshot all over there and thus i am not happy with the cpu throttling test you can see that cpu is throttling 67 max performance and max is only 9316 gib so that is not good all over fine things that is been happening but it does not mean that this chrome does not performs outstanding performances so this is the safety net state test and i am running currently right now in the video and as you can see that the safety net does passes all along without any issues so far and guys if you're still watching the video give a like to this video and also gonna subscribe to this channel for more sake of content now this is all about what do you say the talking about the drm info this room does pro, surpasses the l1 certification so you don't gonna get any of the issues with the netflix and amazon prime and if i talk about the security point of view you get the device is certified and you get the whole revamped UI if I just opens the what do you say files app you get the new revamped UI all over there so that is quite a new quite a few being things also and now talking about the settings itself you also can see that I have changed that settings layout talking about the Wi-Fi internet I haven't faced any such issues over the calling itself even though Wi-Fi is working fine I am getting full of my Wi-Fi speeds over this and call reception is also been there. Right now I have removed my SIM card due to some issues. 
of my network and this is the display section you can customize although here is the always on display option is there and that is quite a being working fine as you can see that with the new logo but my battery usage does not consist of any always on display this is the battery option you get the battery usage and i am happy with the battery usage not a bad or what you can say worse battery usage that you are going to face this is the battery percentage option that is not working if i enable you can see that the battery percentage is not being showing out there so battery percentage option is not been working all over there sound and vibration option there is no me sound enhancer utilities option although it is what do you say this is utilities menu and there is nothing new to talk about or there this is emergency options and lock screen over there fingerprint and face both were given so you can use that according to your preferences now this is the systems option you get the gist now you get the gestures and gestures itself have no new things here it comes with updated due to its official build so you going to install this build so far while manual updating you get the latest update over there and this is the systems option already been talked about about phone section based on android 13 so far and talking about that you get the all things written you get the west coast super fast kernel i generally recommend if you are using any sort of if you are using any sort of custom rom use west coast super fast kernel for better smoothness and ceiling status is enforcing which is very much important so now i have covered each and every topic less than a one thing that is been what do you say leica camera support is there so you got getting the leica camera support over this and the pro mode of the video and the both thing there isn't any issue of the green tint and such of the things you get that 4k 30 fps support over there also with all the lens we are working even though wide angle is working and quite a few no issues that you gonna report so far even portrait mode does work and if i just switch the camera you can see that that is also been working so you are not getting any issues with the leica camera over there so all the things now should i recommend this custom rom to you all or not i can highly recommend this custom rom first point is that the banging apps work fine second is you got getting the unlimited google photos storage third you can see the stability and smoothness of this custom rom right now with a, this kind of customization there is no rom available for right now so you going to try out this also so if you really did enjoyed watching this video give a like to this video and also subscribe to this channel for more sake of content so thanks for watching my videos i'll be going to meet in the next video